Hey YouTube! So another day, another vlog. I am going to work right now. It is a weekend. It's Saturday, but I am working today. It's not very often I work Saturdays. I typically work like a Monday to Friday schedule, but I am working today just because it's actually a long weekend. So if I'm around and I can work a long weekend, I'm going to take that opportunity to do that just so I can kind of give my staff relief if they need. Anyway, I've also noticed a trend of me starting YouTube videos in the vehicle while I'm driving to work. I've literally done that I think three times now. It's kind of not sure why, but whatever. So I wanted to do a work day in the life because it's Saturday, it's a little more casual today. Uh, Saturdays, I'm not gonna have any conversations with any of my sales reps, business emails, business phone calls, Monday to Friday, so that means Saturdays are super casual for me. My lighting keeps changing, so I have to keep changing the camera angle. Anyway, so the reason I'm taking you along today is because I have to unpack a big Professionals Choice order. Now, if you're familiar with Professionals Choice, they're one of the largest uh, Western, actually they do English too, Never mind. They're one of the largest uh, equine companies for horse tack. So they do Western products, English products, and I know for a fact that this order has a lot of our winter blankets in it. So we order our horse winter blankets. They're literally booked like, oh my gosh, I think I booked them last last winter. It had to have been like last February or last March that I booked them. So yes, we are going to be doing that today, unpacking all of those. So you guys are probably going to be one of the first ones to see them. So for anyone new here, I run a Western shop called Rodeo Dog and we're a Canadian store, but we ship everywhere. We ship all over the States. Well, I shouldn't say we ship everywhere because we don't ship across the sea yet, but we do ship all within North America. So this is the professional's choice order that we're going to break into today that has all of the winter blankets in it. And I think there's a few more goodies in there as well. So we'll be doing that today. And then we also got some more lady stuff in yesterday that needs to go out on the floor. I can show you all the other new stuff that we got. So took a quick little gander over. So this is a new set. This is a loungewear set by Rock and Roll Denim. So this is the top and then these are the shorts. And then we also have a bunch of other new stuff here. Lots of hoodies, sweaters. What else? Oh, I just realized that a lot of the new stuff we got is tops that we put on the hanger. So I'm wearing this today. It's a really nice loose fitting long sleeve. And then we also got this long sleeve shirt that I absolutely love. And then behind that, we got a cute cactus cardigan. I'll show you guys more of this and then some more sweaters. But I'll show you my fit today too. I'm just wearing the shirt that I just showed you. Like I said, it's really nice and loose fitting. So it's like a really nice lounge shirt if you want even. Obviously I'm wearing it as a work shirt today, but yeah, definitely a nice comfortable shirt. And then I'm wearing my cinch lindens again. I love these jeans. I think I might've wore them in another vlog. They are the pocketless look. So like they have a pocket obviously, but they don't have like a super obvious pocket they're super comfy and then I'm wearing a vans today as well we got a couple website orders this morning so I'm gonna go ahead and pick those one of them is for three bits got our three bits so this person's obviously buying some barrel racing bits Jewel. My dog Jewel is squeaking her ball in the background. So she got a Charmaine James bit. This is the pretzel, I believe. That's what that is, if you can read that. So she got that one. And then she also got a Professional's Choice bit. This is just a snaffle, as you can see. And then she got a Martha Josie double bar bit. So that's the Martha Josie double bar bit. What does Martha, what does Martha say about this bit? Okay, so this is, oh sorry, this is the Josie Mitchell. Josie Mitchell Reverse Lifter Three Piece Smooth Double Bar Mouth. This one's kind of cool because I actually haven't brought this bit in before. Use this bit for a rider that needs more lift and control. Okay, we have another website order that we need to pick. Sorry, I very quickly realized I couldn't vlog that clip because this person ordered seven shirts, which is amazing, but there's no way that I could take you around to each individual one because I'd be like, it would just be a lot. <laughs> So these are the new 2023 winter blankets. This is the bison pattern, I believe. And then I think I might have also got black as well, but we're gonna unpack these and see what's in them. So as I 
unpack these, I just realized this is not our entire order. I have 32 winter blankets on order or on my invoice and this is definitely not 32. This has got to be like maybe 12. So these two boxes is just a fraction of what's yet to come. So I imagine we'll get like six to eight more boxes because yeah, that did not hold nearly enough product that I thought it would. So after looking at the boxes again, I just realized that this is box three of nine, which means yes, we are expecting seven more boxes after this. So I guess we're gonna have to wait to uh, finish that one. So it's now Tuesday and all the boxes I thought were gonna be there last week are now here. We just showed up the rest of the stock that we need to put out. So we'll be working on that today. So this is a little more like it. It's all winter blankets. Well, all the missing ones at least. That's all these boxes. And then we have some other things in this box. Awesome, so stocked up on some uh, tie down nose bands. And then some fly masks for next year. These are the bear paws. And then got some dragonflies in the cup. And I think there's more stuff in here too that are buried underneath the blankets somewhere. We also got these halters in stock. So these are the teal and orange uh, professional's choice braided halters. And then we got them in the beige and the red. I'm actually really excited about this one. I love this color combo, so I wanna buy one for myself. <laughs> and then we also did a refill of these Merino Wool Professionals Choice Cinches. So these are the Comfort Fit, SMX Comfort Fit Cinches. And we bring them in the black and the chocolate. So it's been a few weeks, I think, since I last filmed in the store. And I just realized on my vlog footage that I was like, wow, I didn't really wrap up that vlog. This will be the last day that I film in the store as a little days in my life with the Western store. Today is kind of special because I'm actually selling my barrel saddle today. So this is the saddle that I'm selling. It's a Billy Cook saddle and I got it when I was a little girl. Well, not super little, but it was my very first barrel saddle actually. So this saddle is kind of sentimental to me because it was my very first barrel saddle and I just don't use it anymore. And I had someone message me asking if we sold saddles in my store rodeo dog here. And I said, no, I'm sorry, we're not a saddle dealer. And she said she was looking for a 14 inch barrel saddle. And I was like, oh, well, you know what? I have a saddle that I could potentially part with just because I don't use this saddle that much anymore. I have three barrel saddles now. Now, and this is just the one saddle that I just don't use very much. So, you know, it's time for it to move on to another home. And the really cool part is that it's going to a little girl that's just starting barrel racing herself. So it was my first barrel saddle and now it's gonna be her first barrel saddle. So that actually warms my heart quite a bit. Oh, and another thing, we actually changed the store around quite a bit. I don't know if I've ever actually given you guys a store tour, but if you follow me on TikTok or if you follow Rodeo Dogs TikTok, you've obviously seen the store a lot. However, yeah, just last week or two weeks ago, honestly, there's been so much that's happened the last few weeks, but sometime in the last couple weeks, I just decided to go crazy and switch the store around. I was thinking about it for a really long time because I just, I know there's other ways to display things and I just thought, okay, you know what? It's a good slow day today. I had a lot of staff on. I said, perfect, this will be my project today. So that's what I did. I literally changed it around. And then I also had the help of Rebecca. She changed around some of the breast collars and head stalls as well that you can see up there. So she did that job. And yeah, I'll show you guys everything that happened. So here's the tack wall. It looks kind of similar to what it was before, but it is different to us because we did switch it around. So Rebecca did all that. Thanks, Rebecca. And then our saddle pads are still there. Now this aisle got really changed around. So we put pony pads down there and then some Navajo blankets as well. And then all of our bits are now down here. The bits used to be on that wall behind you, like where the halters are. Now they're all on the floor right here. And then also the stirrups at the bottom. The stirrups used to be right there. So now they're right there. And then I combined our cattle show supplies. They stayed right here, but I combined it with our other like horse grooming, that sort of thing, horse supplements. They're all together now. Now it just looks a lot more fuller and nicer. And then over on this side, the cinches stayed the same, but we were able to spread them out a little bit. So Rebecca and Reagan did that. And then we moved the boots over here. So all the splint boots that you see right here, they used to be right here. 
The bell boots are still in the same spot. I just lowered them down a little bit so that we can see. Now we have all of our coolers and stuff. And yeah, splint boots are right here. Now, the one thing that you guys didn't see, you didn't see that all down here used to be our winter blankets. It was so crowded, it looked so bad, and I always did not like it, but I didn't know where else to put it. So now they are actually moved. And all the halters are spread out. So all the halters used to be starting like right there to right there. Now they are all spread out. It's actually kind of crazy how many halters we have. So it's a good thing we spread them out. So all the winter blankets that used to be right there are now right there. So we moved them all there. And then all the coolers that are now here. Those are all our fleece coolers, some rain sheets, some extra Navajo blankets. They used to be over here. So we just literally switched those around. So yeah, as you can see, lots happened. We got a lot done. I'm super happy with the results. I think the store looks so, so good. Honestly, I think merchandising is such an important part of having a store. Also, because it's been a few weeks, my hair is different. I got extensions. So I used to always have extensions. I had extensions for about two years. I had the tape-ins before, but I took them out back in April because I wanted to give my natural hair a break and tape-ins are a little bit damaging because unfortunately they can rip your hair out and I've always wanted to try sew-ins so now's the time to bite the bullet and just order them and get them in so I'm wearing sew-ins I don't know if I can show it we'll see if you can see that my apologies if you can't but yeah, so the sew-ins are a lot more natural, so I'm able to wear my hair up a lot more rather than like with tapes, you can't wear your hair up. I'm just happy to have long hair again. I love having long blonde hair. My hair is one of my happinesses. I know that is, that's weird, but to me, I've just always valued my hair. I think I'm just, yeah, I'm a hair girl, okay? <laughs> if you, oh my God, I thought there was a, thought there was a customer behind there. Um, <laughs> I know, I know, like, obviously I vlog, but I don't like vlogging in front of other people. Like, I don't, I don't want to vlog in front of customers, and I don't really want to vlog in public. I just find it a little bit embarrassing, I guess. I don't know why I should be embarrassed. I shouldn't be embarrassed. Maybe embarrassing isn't the right word to use, but I guess I just feel, I, I feel self-conscious about it. Nobody else does YouTube or TikTok where I live. So it, yeah, so I guess to me, the fact that I'm just like openly vlogging and talking to you guys via camera makes me self-conscious sometimes. But I think any YouTuber will say that. Like for example, I don't know why, but I always find I'm watching YouTube videos where the girls are sitting in their cars and then all of a sudden someone walks by or parks beside them and they're like, <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay, I'm just gonna be quiet for a second, guys, because there's someone right there. Or there's, it'll jump to the next clip because they were too embarrassed to keep talking. So that's kind of the same thing, I guess. <laughs> So I was thinking I should probably give you guys a store tour because I don't know if I've done that yet. So I'm gonna start upstairs so that I can show you guys like the full 360 and then we'll go from there. So those are the front doors of the store. This is the ladies section and then kids section is right back there. And then we have ladies jeans, ladies boots, and then those are actually all kids jeans. And then we have riding helmets. So ladies and kids are kind of all mixed together a little bit. And then we have our Montana Silversmith, of course. We have belts right there. And then over there is men's. And then we have our dog food. And then we have our pet supplies. So pet supplies is this aisle, this aisle, and this aisle. And then we have our tack over there. We have our aisle of horse stuff and cow stuff. We have some extra ropes are on the hooks right there, but all of our ropes are down there. And then underneath here is our gift wear and stuff. And then we also have our staff room and my office upstairs, but I'm not gonna show those areas because those are private areas. This is the, our hats we have our hats right there we have our purses and wallets and then we also have our giftware over here we have our storage room as well but I'm not gonna show the storage room because there's also some confidential stuff in there as well sorry guys um, there's only so much I can put on the internet of course as I'm sure you're aware. Oh, and Jewel comes to work with me every day. Hi, Jewel. Hi, pretty girl. It is now the end of the night. We got a lot done today. And unfortunately, it just wasn't anything super exciting that you guys would want to see. So that's why I didn't film it. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you do want to see it. But I just kind of made that executive decision, I guess. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
And if you have any comments, questions, a video request, anything of that matter, please shoot them down below. I'd really appreciate that because I love keeping in touch with you guys. And I'm sorry that I took a really long break in between my last video and these new videos coming out. But hey, such is life. It's going to happen sometimes. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.